Why am I in the woods? As Devil Dog wakes Who up in that? the woods, he finds himself some delicious hot hell? coffee. Why is there a coffee container here? Devil Dog then decides to go deeper into the woods. Okay, I'll go along with it. Let's go this way then. As he travels down a treacherous dark path deep in the woods, he finds okay, more fresh, hot, down. delicious coffee. Why is there a narration to what I'm doing by myself? Because that I'm the narrator sense. of the game. It's what I do. And why is there another coffee can here to collect? Because it's a collectible. This is just stupid. I don't care, bitch. It's part of the game. Really? Now keep walking down in the woods. I Go, fat ass. As he crosses a rickety, dangerous bridge, he comes across another delicious hot coffee collectible. But suddenly he is attacked by multiple evil entities known as Mr. Stucky. How will Devil Dog escape the wrath of multiple Mr. Stucky? He runs quickly. Barely avoiding him. He runs quickly, barely avoiding him. I just said that. Do I get anything to help me during this sort of thing? As he progresses past the demons, he finds a flashlight on the ground, which he can use to shine on the Mr. Stuckies and weaken them to shoot them and kill them. So what do I do with it? I just told you. I just told you. Yes, you heard me. I shine it you shine the light on them, then you shoot them. Yes, shoot and then them? then you shoot them, dumbass. Man, that's fucking stupid. I, it's part of the game. Just do it, okay? Whatever. As Double Dog progresses through the deep dark woods, now with a weapon in tow, he finds another delicious hot coffee. Oh, here's another thermos to pick up. Gee, thank you. Uh, how much coffee this motherfucker need? I do appreciate the the the, the, uh, the flashlight here. Now, what else can I use to stop these people? Along with the flashlight, Devil Dog finds a gun in his pocket, which he can use oh, to shit. shoot the Mr. Stucky. Okay. That's right. So shine him with the light, then shoot him, dumbass. Now, with all the Stucky fuckers defeated, okay. Devil Dog is safe. I'm gonna say this flat out. This game is fucking stupid. Why am I collecting thermoses of fucking coffee? Why do I have to use a flashlight and a gun to kill enemies? This is stupid! This is just fucking stupid. I'm out of here. Fuck this. everybody it's me Nate aka Devil Dog and I'm back with my epic Alan Wake rant that's right I know I got a little carried away with the opening but you know what I had to because it just fit in exactly with all the feelings that I had while playing through this game um, this originally I think came out in May of 2010 on Xbox and then finally ended up receiving a remastered version that has the two DLCs that are added on to it I think in October 21st of 2021, uh, I believe. 
So it was a couple years ago, but the reason why I'm playing this is because it was one of the free games for the PlayStation Plus uh, games of the month. So that's why I you know, went to play this. Uh, basically, Alan Wake uh, basically is a, a writer that goes to a small town, and he's trying to write a new book, and a bunch of stuff happens when his wife ends up missing. And now here's the thing that bothers me about this game. Now, first of all, I will say this. This apparently has a cult following. A ton of people love this game, and I can see aspects, aspirations of why they do love this. I myself do not like it, but I actually am waiting for a sequel, Alan Wake 2, which sounds like they're going more to the route of actual survival horror, almost like a Resident Evil 4 sort of remake thing. Um, meanwhile, we have games like Days Gone that deserve a sequel and won't get it, but instead we're getting Alan fucking Wake 2. Yeah. Oh, great. That's just good. Thank you so much. Thanks. Because after all, that's one thing about most games on Xbox is uh, back when they came out, they were not really that good. Uh, the Alan Wake is not a good game. It's not. The controls are shitty as fuck. They're clunky as hell. And I heard originally when they were working on this, they wanted to have it as an open world game and they couldn't get it to work, so they did it in the more streamlined version. It took them like over for four years to make this um, and we're basically when you're playing this game it, it's obvious it's trying to uh, harken back um, you know to certain TV shows and certain movies obviously it took great inspiration from Twin Peaks because the town you go to is obviously a direct ripoff of Twin Peaks it's 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 a, it's a new uh, it's Twin Peaks okay it's Twin Peaks with shitty controls and a Dumb ass crap mechanic of when you're fighting your enemies, your Mr. Stuckies, Mr. Stuckies, Mr. Stuckies. You know what? That's the dumbest ass name for a villain, an uh, enemy you have to fight with in an entire game. Hopefully, in the sequel, they'll have more variety in, 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 in enemies because basically all this was was nothing but Mr. Stuckies. Yes, they had other people attack you, but it was always just people that were showing up and saying stupid ass slogans and quips. It's like, oh, don't do this. You know, oh, don't fall off dynamite hurts you you know that, that's why it's like in my parody I mean, if you listen close you might actually hear the guy go masturbation gives you cancer taco bell gives you diarrhea because because that's the quips that they were saying in this and, and it, it tries so hard to be like spooky and creepy and it's not it's not it's boring it's clunky and it's stupid the mechanic the main mechanic that even comes back in in alan wake 2 involving you flashing a flashlight on the enemies long enough to where they have sparkles Sparkles, and then you can shoot them with your weapon and defeat them. Um, it's stupid. It's stupid. It really, I'm sorry. It's a stupid mechanic. It's a dumb mechanic. And then on top of that, the level designs in the first game aren't that good. Okay, there's only so many different times you can go through forests, and and, and they all look the same. That you're like, okay, another forest I get to walk through, another mountain I get to climb to, another tower I get to climb to. And the number one thing I hate about this game, which is one of the main draws that people like about it, but I absolutely hate it, is the narration. The narration, like this is some sort of Stephen King rip-off. He even talks about Stephen King in the game, but it's stupid. It's stupid. You're constantly walking around. It's like, oh, Alan Wake is walking down the road, and he looks to his side, and he finds a gun and a pistol, and it's like, and it, it's, it's stupid, okay? It's annoying. And now, if it was done a little bit less, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but it's done constantly through the whole game. And it's almost like the, the worst sort of hand-holding and leading. And the overall premise behind the fact that you're trying to find your lost wife and everything can be kind of intriguing, but it's just done so poor with the clunky-ass controls, the shitty-ass mechanics of flying, you know, shining a flashlight, which I might add you have to collect batteries for. Now, no offense, you know, I, I, I've lived in this world a long time, but I have never had a flashlight when I'm using it, lose power after 60 seconds. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, these must be some really shitty ass batteries that the batteries keep going out in the flashlight and you have to keep finding the flashlight. And, you know, guns, that's another thing. You're finding guns everywhere. You know, no offense, man. I ain't worried about the Mr. fucking Stuckies. I'm more worried about the motherfuckers leaving all these guns around out in the woods everywhere. What if a little kid, kid gets a hold of that and shoots himself? You know, you're going around, you're around an area, and you're finding ammo, you're finding flares. Now, now the flare thing is kind of clever to some point, because there's, like, these light posts that actually have, like, an emergency box on them. So I'm like, okay, emergency flare in there, and it's near the water. That makes sense. But you're out in the middle of the fucking woods, nowhere near water. Where is there going to be a box with flares in there? 
That makes no sense to me. And the other thing is you go around collecting manuscript pages because basically your story has come to life. You're going around and collecting manuscript pages um, of, that aren't even written. They're blank pages. And you know basically your story is coming to life as you go through it. And, and it's a novel approach, but it just comes off as just heavy-handed and, and archaic, very archaic. And the other thing that honestly bothers the hell out of me is what is the deal with the coffee? My God, every friggin' time you're walking around, you're finding containers of coffee. Now, in buildings, that makes sense. Okay, you go to a building that's like a, a normal building, you find uh, coffee. Now, I don't know why it would be a hot container of coffee uh, in, a, in a fucking building, but when you're going to like an old shut-down mill or you're out in the middle of the fucking woods and you're finding containers of hot coffee, that's just fucking stupid. I mean, honestly, is that the best idea you could come up with for a collectible? Now, I get it does tie back in because basically this is the dude who's basically going insane as he's writing a story that's coming to life as he's trying to rescue his wife. Now, um, the other thing that was interesting, but I think it was designed in a way because of the modern day gamers that are so mentally short and don't have too much time on their hands. They did it in like chapters, okay? Almost like movie chapters, like a streaming service where there's six total chapters in this game and when you finish a chapter it normally ends on some sort of cliffhanger literally like hanging off a cliff um, well, a couple times um, and then when it comes back then it says previously on Alan Wake we're gonna talk about the same stuff that you just played like I guess the player decided I'm gonna go uh, I'll leave and come back a week later and go what happened I don't remember where I was or was I in the woods near coffee or was I in, in the woods near paper or was I in the woods near Mr. Stucky Mr. Stucky, God, man, I'm sorry. The gameplay in this sucks. The controls are clunky as shit. The game world designs, honestly, in next uh, current gen systems might be appealing, but honestly, even for their times, it doesn't look good visually. It's not that appealing. The level designs and choices in so many places that are just wooded areas, um, I don't like. The, the overall plot isn't quite intriguing, and it tries to be jump scary, but it's not scary. It's not a scary game. It doesn't play well. It doesn't look well. The all mechanics of shining a light on an enemy, and oh my God, the battery, I gotta put a battery in, gotta put a battery in a flashlight before Mr. Stucky hits me with an axe. And I was like, that's stupid. That's dumb, okay? Maybe the aspect of actually shining light on them and making them burst before you could shoot them, but not with the constant need of freaking collecting batteries. And my God, what is the point of having a dodge mechanic that goes into a slow-mo that you can only do a couple times successfully. Now, I've gotten it down and I'm pretty good at it with ducking and diving, but you cannot run away. There's been so many times in this game you'll, you'll be going through the woods and all of a sudden the enemy will appear and it, what it'll do is it'll stop and it'll zoom over and show you where the enemy is. Because they always seem to show up behind you and they start throwing axes and running at you and stuff like that. And it's kind of dumb. You can't run away from them. There's been many, many times where I don't have a proper amount of uh, ammunition in my gun or a proper battery. Now the battery kind of recharges a little bit, but it doesn't fully recharge. Um, to where you can't run away and hide from these Mr. Stuckies, which is stupid. Uh, the plot was dumb. The graphics aren't good. The gameplay isn't fun. I can see the sequel improving upon this, though there's other games like Days Gone that deserve a sequel. They'll never get one. Um, but this to me... I can understand why people like it, but to me, I think it is a steaming piece of horse shit. And coming from Remedy, that makes games like Max Payne and Control and, and all these other games, you can tell they had a lot of problems with this. Because you look at it, you can tell it was in development hell until they finally figured, you know what, we're not going open world, we're going to streamline it more, we're going to make it sectional, we're going to make it very streamlined, you go through. Uh, but please tell me, tell me in the comments below, I get the blank papers. Because it's a representation of his mind as he's writing his newest story. But what's with all the hot coffee? Yelling leaves hot coffee containers everywhere in the dang world. And that bothers me. Uh, honestly, leave the comments below what you think of Alan Wake. Uh, did you like the game? Did you find it intriguing? Or did you just find it really stupid? Like, I mean, it just ends up trying to be so hard like a combination of Silent Hill and Twin Peaks. That's really what it is. It's Silent Hill meets Twin Peaks. It has no jump scares. It's not scaring. 
It's stupid. The story's dumb. I don't care about the character. And the narrator needs to shut the fuck up. Let me play the game and don't explain everything. He's like explaining everything. And it's so annoying. And the mechanics, if they could tighten it and make it better, I will check out Alan Wake 2 when it comes out because that is multi-platform. I can play it on my PS5. But honestly, this game, dear Lord, it is a steaming pile of shit. And I don't know why so many people like it. I just don't. But leave in the comments below what you personally think about it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this rant. Leave lots of comments and I'll answer each and every single one of them. And remember here at Devil Dog Gaming, we always end our videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and remember people, the devil's in the details. And not with Mr. Sockies. Give me some coffee, bitch.